Welcome back to Let's Play Storyteller. I'm Burning Dog Face, and last time we solved a bunch of problems, and some of them were more grim than others. The cellar. Now we've come to the cellar, where we're going to take on uh, some ominously named puzzles, starting with poison. Lenora drinks poison. No. But why? Uh, Edgar and Lenora get married. But Lenora doesn't drink poison. Yeah, that didn't work. She's just dead. Uh, no, that's not how you do that. dies after the wedding. And then she drinks the poison. Oh, that's dark! Oh, no. What? Oh. Tragedy! Double poison! The double deuce! Huh? Edgar and Lenora get married. Lenora dies. Edgar poisons himself. Oh no, I see. Then I revive Lenora. Why don't I put Edgar there? Oh no, he's, he's dead too, I forgot. Yes, yes, that's, that's not a good example. So put, they'll revive Lenora. Laura dis uh, Lenora discovers that Edgar is dead. And then she drinks poison too to make sure she's dead. Someone drinks poison twice. Huh. How the fuck do I make that happen? Yeah, you're a ghost there, and you can't drink poison now. Hmm. Oh. And then Edgar... D okay, yeah. Edgar gets married to Lenora. Lenora dies. Edgar poisons himself. He is mysteriously revived, and he just poisons himself again. <laughs> That's terrible. Hunt. Isabel is haunted by her husband. I probably should have a scene. Uh, Edgar and Isabel get married. Oops. Uh, Edgar and Isabel have a fight. Dagger, snake, lightning bolt, skull and crossbones, smaller lightning bolt, bigger lightning bolt, two exclamation points. Can't even imagine what profanity that is. Why is it the dance of the sugar plum fairy? I thought that was a Christmas song. Ah, yes, I didn't even have to do anything special there. So, Isabel and Edgar get into a fight. Isabel takes the poison to put it in his drink. Wine. <laughs> Isabel refuses to drink the wine because she's uh knows it's poison. But Edgar doesn't, and... Ooh, he's just dead. Yeah, that's not cool. Oh, I see. Yes. And the ghost of Edgar. Oh, jeez. He looks pissed. Envy! 
murder of jealousy. Ah, uh, yes, three of them. That's pretty easy. Edgar and Isabel get married. Edgar refuses to marry uh, Lenora because he's married to Isabel. Oh, shit, that's not what I meant to do. She's still just fucking killing herself. Um. But she has no reason to do it there. And she'll still just kill herself. Uh huh. I don't know how to get a third party to kill her. That was probably the right answer. Just, okay, murder of jealousy. Yes. Chris, do no, no. If there's no one there, she has no reason to kill anyone. Um. Is there room in this picture? No, just that one spot. Huh. This one is tricky. Well, I've got very few pieces to work with. Uh, Edgar has no reason to do it. Wait. Oh, it's not poison. She just got fucking shit-faced because she's, uh... Heartbroken. You should be her. No, that's just death. Don't do that. Um. Double heartbreak. Of course she's killing herself now. Fuck. How in the world do I turn this into a uh, murder? And no, okay, Isabel is kind of into it, but uh, nobody seems to have any actual reason to. What if it's because it's Lenora? Isabel is haunted. Murder oh, of jealousy. Uh, sure. Okay, so. What if Isabel is more willing to murder? <coughs> yeah! That's what it is. It's the wrong person. Murder of jealousy, but everyone meets their demise. Oh, I see. Edgar kills himself because his wife is dead. Isabel kills herself because Edgar's dead. Murder of jealousy, but everyone meets their demise. It's very important to know. The characters are not completely interchangeable. Beauty. Chapter 5. Competition. Scorn. Duplicity. Deceit. That's a good word, duplicity. Most people just call it being sneaky, but I do enjoy a good, complicated word. Which becomes the mirror's favorite. Oh, fuck. I actually thought that this reminded me of, like, the face in the magic mirror from, uh... Was it Snow White? Yeah, that was Snow White. Oops, too the far. No, 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 no. Which becomes the mirror's favorite. <laughs> Mirror tells the witch that uh, Snowy is uh, more attractive, of course. Oops. Uh. 
Ah, the witch turns into an old lady. Of course she does. Oops. Oh, right, because she's uh, now an old lady. And she turns back into herself, and then... Ha. Uh, which becomes the mirror's favorite. I didn't even really need this frame. Scorn. Curse is lifted. Oh, I see. Yes, yes. Which prince? Oh. Oh. I thought she was totally going to turn him into a frog. Oh, no. No? Hmm. Ah! Okay, the witch is in love with the prince, but he is not in love with her. He rejects her when he tr and she tries to smooch him. So he, she turns him into a frog, and Snowy kisses the frog. Oh no, no she doesn't. I don't have enough panels for this. I don't need that to happen, so I can just start with... Wait... Okay, yes, yes, she just needs a panel where she meets the frog and he explains that he's the prince, and now she loves him again. Yes, the curse is lifted, so now the final one is the, the curse being broken by the kiss. Excellent! isn't exactly how I remember the Frog Prince going. Duplicity. A kiss and a curse. Ooh, that is sneaky. Okay. Prince does not love the witch. Oh, that's not how that works. Um... Well, shit, how am I going to get her to turn him into a frog? Oh, I know. Yeah, I start with a kiss instead. So he rejects her. So she turns him into a toad. Then she goes to her cauldron and turns into a hottie. Yes, uh... Runs into the prince as a frog. He explains that who he is. Oh, look at that. He's more susceptible to it this time. Nice. Let's put the prince in the cauldron. Oh, yeah, he's still a toad. Neat. Oh, that is interesting, because he absolutely will not do it. Oh, yes, he does, he's angry at her if uh, he recognizes the witch. Yes, that makes sense. What a strange story. Deceit. Tiny gets a kiss. You got Tiny, the prince, Snowy, and witch. Is this actually like the theme from Snow White? seen that movie since I was like 10. Uh, Tiny does not want to... Uh, the, then says, uh, Snowy does not want to smooch Tiny, who appears to be one of the dwarves.
Huh. Oh, I don't have Cauldron to turn her into a hottie. Shit. Uh... I think I see. I think I see. Shoo, shoo. Um... Okay, kiss. Tiny, snowy, she's not into it. Forest. Uh, witch. No, no, no. Uh... Which turns him into a toad. No, she's not into it. Uh, crap. Is he into it? No. Is she into it? No, he makes fun of her. Uh, another tiny. So, um. Oh, I see what I'm missing. Oh, look at that! Yeah, the witch specifies that she's only into dudes! <laughs> oh, I guess that means those other characters from the last chapter were by, huh? Nice. Representation. Um... What do I think? Uh, she... Uh, Tiny needs to kiss the frog, is what I'm thinking. So I need the prince, the, the 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 witch to have a reason to dislike the princess. Yes. And then the prince, uh, Snowy, explains that she's uh, Snowy. Since I didn't really use him in this story, here's the prince and the witch not being happy together. And, uh... Here's Tiny, presumably getting a kiss. Ooh! That is interesting. Two optional objectives. Ungrateful Maiden and Prince Saves Tiny. Yes, Ungrateful Maiden, she refuses to kiss him after she fixes him. Or after he fixes her, even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prince saves Tiny. How do I get the witch to turn Tiny into a frog? How do I, I don't think I can get all of these. Like, I don't think I can get both Ungrateful Maiden and Prince Saves Tiny. Huh. <laughs> Neither of them are into that. No! Hmm. Wait. No, the prince is not just to slay the, uh, the witch. Gets a kiss. Okay. So that was Ungrateful Maiden. Uh, let's start off with this. <laughs> oh no. Maybe I could get them both to be frogs. I don't fucking know. 
He won't kiss the frog because he knows it's really that guy. Oh no! How terribly rude. The prince doesn't care if he's the most attractive one, you dipshit. Saves Tiny, so Tiny rejects the witch. Gets turned into a frog. Oh. Oh! No, wait. Uh, I don't know. I have enough pages for this. No, I don't. Snowy there, and I'll put the witch also turns Snowy into a frog, and then I put the frog Tiny here, and trick the prince into kissing the wrong one. Yes! <laughs> I like that, the thought balloon with her in it. I'm not sure that counts. Is there a way to get both of those at once? Tiny gets a kiss. And that he did. And, uh, you know, tune in to the, uh, the next episode, since that'll about do it for this, uh, session of... <clears throat> of Let's Play uh, Story Time. When we take a look at Chapter 6 The Mana Murder, Weapon, Telltale, and Fingerprints. How much you want to bet Telltale is a shortened version of the Telltale Heart, huh? Either way, we will find out next time. Have a great day, Burning Dog fans. Later! <laughs>